that's something challenging of its own. I felt like if I can paint these little kids that won't sit still, they're so impatient, and I'm trying to paint a Pikachu or a Spider-Man, and if I can do that, you can do anything, because this is so still, and it's, it doesn't move, it doesn't yell at you, it's not telling you to hurry up, it's gonna wait for you. And unfortunately, this painting waited seven months for me to paint it. I started the painting, um, and right after he won the World Cup, when I started it, I probably got about here, and I decided it's very hard, these tones are not working out, it's more challenging than I expected it to be, and so I stopped for seven months, I focused on my work, I kept my you know, face on the computer, and I just kept going. I really didn't paint for seven months because I was so afraid to you know, touch it. I was like, I'll get to it next weekend. And seven months of weekends went by where nothing happened. While I was working, I was let go. In this moment of being let go, I had this fear. What am I going to do to create income, to get by? I mean, I have my car note. I have things that I need to take care of. And so I was like, what am I going to work? Where can I put this? And I heard about the Nativa Art Show. And that sparked my interest to complete the painting because I know they were looking for Latin artists and I felt like I had to do this, I had to bring them. And so I submitted my paintings and only Selena made it in. But I was offered to do the artist talk and I was like, I have to bring Messi. So I'm so glad that he got in the show too. I snuck him in there, but he's here. And I'm so happy that y'all got to see him tonight. I probably spent 40 hours in about four days on him. Because I had that deadline to make it for the art show, I probably printed out like 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day working on it. Yes, I put a lot of time and energy into making sure that he's as likeness as possible, but I wanted to also keep the freedom and not be constricted to the color palette that was provided in the picture. And so that, I, was, I really wanted to express myself by keeping the impression of him, but also giving the freedom of adding color to my palette. And going forward, I do plan to do more portraits. I really don't have a plan where I want to end up. I don't care if it's a fancy art gallery. As long as people, you know, appreciate the work, I'm more than happy to keep coming back and represent my community the best that I can. And I'm always going to show with my curly hair because this is who I am. And I stand in front of everyone and I'm just thankful that y'all have me here tonight.
start on white canvases with all my paintings. I like to start on a white canvas, just plain, and I like to add the color to it. I know a lot of people like to prime it first with like a color or something. I just, I feel like that takes away from my outline. I like to keep my outline crisp and fresh. And with this one, I really just wanted to make it a solid black. I was gonna add the stadium lights, but I feel like that would take away from the, the depth of the painting. So that's why I decided to keep it with the black. But I usually start my paintings on a plain white canvas. That way I can really see my outlines and get the feel of where I want to place my colors. Very good question. Do we have any more questions? That's Hi, Hi. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you that did not hear her question, she asked, um, there's an artist of her name is Virginia. Her question was, does she start with a white canvas or a black canvas, being as, seeing as the background of this is black? And her answer was, she starts with all white canvases and this adds the color on. So very good question, because I personally have never painted on a black canvas that bright of color. So I would have been, girl, <laughs> completely normal. You would have got a million more questions. Does anyone else have any other questions before I dive in with my, like, two? <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. 